today has been a busy day. Some of you may already have um, been part of our universe. We just got done teaching for two hours, I think, right? A uh, three. Three hours? I don't know. It feels like, oh, look at you. You got a boosty. You going to boost yourself up? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, you're a big girl now, aren't you? Big girl. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't like being just a face or a face with, Oh, you know, come on. You gotta have some torso in there. You're bigger than me now. Well. I'm gonna have to go get a boosty. <laughs> so I'm, a boosty, eh? No, just a boosty. <laughs> I'm tracking my face because I'm gonna get up and move around and I want the camera to kind of hone in on both of us. No, on you. No. Well, yeah, okay, me. No, seriously. It's your birthday. Sabrina's like, should we do the Trisprina show tonight? Um, because we have been going nonstop. I mean, we barely got the camera and everything set up. We started going live at both of us at 8.30 this morning. But I mean, it's not a wham wham. It's like, no, oh, wow. it's been awesome. Wow. It's been so busy doing our on-camera client attraction, Secrets Boot Camp. And Dojo and Zumba. Teaching and Zumba and, and working on sales pages. And if you know about all those different crazy things that we do. Hello. It's, it's endurance. It's total endurance. Going to bed late, getting up early. But it's fun. It's exciting. It's very exciting. It's, we're so pumped up. And we're up for the challenge, you know. Oh. Like, bring it. Let's go, you know. So, um, I, I... But I did say, when the show's over, can we take a nap? No, you didn't. You said, can we just crash? <laughs> I had his birthday frozen pizza ready. <laughs> I'm stoked, man. So I've been working out a lot. I've been trying to get the guns. Got to show off the gun show. There you go. There you go. Right? That's why I want to be tracked. I'm trying to get that Claude Von Damme, you know? No. Get, get the clock out of there. It's too good to mess. No, it's okay. Anyway, so, no, I, I give myself fitness uh -oh. goals. I, I can turn this off for now. All right. You stay front and center. You oh. just sit there and look pretty. You just... <laughs> you just sit there and look pretty. Yeah, so... I was eating nachos. Nacho but, cheese? No, like I was eating quinoa chips with vegetarian refried beans and sour cream and Parmesan cheese with a big glass of wine. And Tristan, I go, Tristan, why you got this black clothes on? And he said, because we're doing fitness tests tonight. And I'm like, could you have told me 30 minutes earlier before the nachos and wine? Oh, did you so, already start on both? Yeah, oh, they're both gone. They're both like living Oh, they're in your me. belly already? Oh, they're inside of me. And so I'm like, I love that I'm just like, okay, let me change clothes. Nachos, wine, and fitness, party. <laughs> they, all, they all go together. No, I, I wanted to... Free to be me. On my birthday, I usually go to the gym. That's not happening. And um, I like to stretch and do push-ups. And, and I honestly haven't had time to work out today. Uh, I did Well, I did my Qigong this morning with some of you guys in, in the Life Force Mastery Dojo. But that was just a, some gentle flow, right? It's really sweet. And then it was just go, 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 just like that. Go, 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 getting ready for the boot camp. We were on day two, by the way, we have one more day. We've got three days total. And if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, let me see, go here. If you wanna learn more about how to do live camera stuff, you know, go live if you wanna know. Oh my gosh, what have we, t we've talked about so many cool things. You can get all the replays too, like, how to get clear on who you're speaking to, how to deliver a really awesome message, how to use storytelling, how to set up your calls to action, how to get into flow state, how, how to do the little buttons on the phones that make things look cool and flip the lens and just everything you'd ever want to know, um, we're covering it. So that's our three-day boot camp. So you can go there if you want to join us. And we only have one day left. Oh, that's are you right. downloading the replay day two right now? exporting it's already there and it's on my computer and I have not loaded it for the replay yet mm -hmm. so you try to get that up within four hours what it's a replay to get sent out to your whole list or everybody who's interested so that hasn't happened yet but whatever so back to my story busy busy <laughs> I wanted to work out after and then Sabrina's like Trisprina show I'm like oh my god I'm working out on the Trisprina show <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do my fitness exam with you guys. And you, if that's and okay. please follow along. Yeah, join me. Do your version. 
I'm just, I, so each year I measure flexibility and I, I do one or two different things to measure strength, okay? My karate teacher, he always used to challenge us to do 50 push-ups. Get down and give me 50. <laughs> you know, if you like talked out and thought, give me 50 right now, just get 50. And so that's when I was 18, 19, you know, I could crank out 50 and it wasn't easy, but I could do it. I'm going to challenge myself to do 50 push-ups right now. And I don't know if we'll get the splits 100% because I haven't had much time to work on them. But I'm going to warm up a little bit and then I'm going to see if I can't get the splits at least on one side. Let's see how wow. far I can go. Okay? And you're more than welcome to join me in this experience. Me? I yes. am. Well, everybody. I mean, I don't know if you do push-ups or not. If you do, or if you do... Joanna, that's so awesome. So, Joanna... It was in the Life Force class today doing the, the sat with you, 8.30. Was oh, that's 8? right. You've been with us all day. Was it 8.30 to 9.30? Yeah. And then for like two and a half hours of the business boot camp. And then I, I've taught a, like a Zumba dance class. And it's here you like, are. You're and like, can somebody just follow us around? We're just reality <laughs> TV. There are no secrets here. They call certain people a die hard. I call it a live hard. You're living hard and you're living loud. It's beautiful. I tell you I, there were years ago, I'm not stealing your birthday story, but there, years, years ago, I, there were so many parts of my life that I felt like, I don't know, were secret, things you don't talk about, these people can know this, and these people can know that, and I can share that with these people, and you had to remember what people knew, and I'm, I'm so happy to have grown into maybe a physical age, and maybe in a spiritual evolution, that everything is blended together and I don't have all that separatedness and I don't have to worry about anybody seeing anything because our lives are an open book, an open beautiful book that see what's beautiful, whatever's not, we're working on it, right? And that is so relaxing and so, so beautiful to let people be a witness to your life or at least to, to feel that invitation that you know that each and every moment you're Make an effort to be the best version of you that you can. You look really pretty. Really? Wow, thanks. No, you do. You look great. You look great. I mean, my eyes are a little fuzzy but because I haven't <laughs> shut them for a while, but you look amazing. So somehow, since we've been in uh, lockdown since March 25th, um, Tristan has lost five pair of readers in the house. I had to, like, overnight prime. These are new. Two pair. And there's a third one on the way. Where could they be? Where are these? Where? Where did they go? I'm going to get them one of those little beaded necklaces that you put the the ears of the glasses in. They wear around your neck. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Yeah, I might need one of those. Okay, you guys ready? You got, are you warming up? I need to warm up for this. So, we're going to go back to the little... Thing that fall, do you want to do fresh start? Or are we good? Just let it ah, go. It's great. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. All right. So fitness, fitness time. We could work out together. All right. So let's change this. Oh, if if you don't feel like working out, if you're like me, oh, yeah, you, you could have some watch. nachos and wine. You could just take notes, like when I want to sort of reflect back on uh, what I leave done. that thing there that says autofocus because I don't know how to turn it off. I can try one thing. Apparently it's not that button. Oh wow. Alright, this is gonna be fun. I love living I'm in the- I'm pushing the wrong button, sorry. Oh, no. Look what I'm sitting on. That many. <laughs> there, maybe that'll work. I'm not a real big person. Okay, so. I'm gonna start. You're gonna. Whoa, Winnie. Oh, I'll get Winnie, you gotta move. Roll them up like a taco. <laughs> How about for. Whoa, you're gonna lose that taco. <laughs> it's a taco. Can you come back here? Gotta warm up. Don't do things cold, right? Some arm circles. Do some teacups. Show your mid drift. Oh, it seems so dark back here. I 
know. What is that? We need a light bulb up here. You need an extra light bulb. I'm just gonna be back here, background. You're just gonna dance. So we're gonna tilt the camera. We're gonna see. All right. So I'm gonna come down here and say hi. So it's push-up time. And what are you gonna be dancing feet? No, you're going. Where are you going? All right. So we're gonna work on the push-ups. I think it's good to warm up. So I'm going to do them old school karate way, the way that Chuck Norris taught all his students is we had to do them on our wrists, on our fists to strengthen our wrists, right? Now I started on my knees just to do a couple of warm ups, but then once I get warmed up, <laughs> you want him to come and join us? Can he sit over here? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, you're going to put it on your back. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a lot of extra weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, apparently I'm going to be super challenged here. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, we're going to crank out 50 push-ups. 50. You know what? It needs to be 53. One for every year. 53 push-ups. <laughs> this is McSeamy, our elephant in the room. Is he going to do push-ups too? We get a little chi in the arms here. Who's going to do push-ups with me? Stimulate the chi channels. Hey, buddy. Okay, gang. 53. 53 years strong. And that's a lot of extra weight. <laughs> There's 10. Go! Fabulous, 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 go! There's 20. There's 30. Here we go. What number am I on? 40. What number am I on, guys? 40. All right, we got 13 more. Here we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! All right, that'll get us warmed up for the stretching. Woo! So here's something interesting. <clears throat> this is interesting. That was harder than I thought it would be. But here's why. <clears throat> Brain energy is as important in executing a task and being able to channel chi and focus into your physical realm. I have been going non-stop since 5 a.m. <clears throat> All good, but my endurance, my energetic chi endurance is not as strong as it was this morning, and I have not had the opportunity to rejuvenate. Make sense? So your brain power, thinking, especially worrying or stress, directly affects your physical vitality. It's insane. <clears throat> not saying that 53 isn't a decent amount. Some people can do maybe 10, 
Some people, that's all they do is push-ups. They can do a lot more than me. But I was surprised. I thought I had to work hard for that number three, that 53. But I'm good with it. Just really interesting. Did my 50 at 57. Good job, Dave. That's awesome, man. 40, Joanna, you did 40 push-ups? That's incredible. How about 5.3 push-ups? <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Go for it. All right. So now, you guys want to work on your flexibility? Kobe did 20. That's amazing. Good job. All right. I can't do any. Well, push-ups are not everybody's cup of tea. Yeah. They're good for you. Are you going to hang out there with McSteamy? McSteamy? I always call him McSteamy. Well, he picked me up, show how strong you are. <laughs> he went sliding. <laughs> oh, this guy is so heavy. All right. Let's work on the hip flexor. I think Sabrina's got this one down. So I really like to stretch the hip flexor out first to work towards the split. Right, right in there. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Just getting started. Then I like to work on the hamstring. You should go diagonal. And I go up and back. Right, so I go forwards and then I stretch behind the hamstring. So I'm gently warming up the tissue. Meanwhile, I'm still stretching back here. Getting this hamstring ready. You can flex the foot a little bit. <clears throat> you do 53 really good. Thanks, baby. I'm more, you know, I, I really enjoy, when they say getting older, I enjoy evolving. His See, I'm back, working, working into it. back looks good, just so you know. I'm working into it, right? So I'm just holding onto the wall, just working into it. So I'm going to work on the other side now. Hip flexor first. I'm not uh, bouncing, I'm gently pulsing. Big difference. You don't do so, this. Boom, boom. He's he's opening this right here. Now I'm stretching the back of the hamstring here. Why is this important? Well, leg strength is getting will get compromised as your hamstring muscles and ligaments get tight over time. If you're not putting some tugging on them and some movement on them. The joint tissues and areas around the bones can calcify. Things can shorten. You'll lose your strength. It's yeah. not just flexibility, it'll affect your strength. And I think that we can age, if we can stay consistent, very gracefully and re maintain strength. And it takes consistency. He's, he, he's done this between now and his 52nd birthday. <laughs> yeah, this isn't the first time, right? So now, this hamstring right here, pumping some blood and some movement into that. And he's got jeans on. How are you gonna do splits? That's in true, jeans? I do have some jeans. <laughs> okay, now this would be the Chinese splits. You need a decent amount of flexibility inside, inner thigh. Also, you need the joint structure that allows you to get into those deeper stretches. So I'm still happy I can kick at the head level, but I'm not gonna hurt myself by forcing anything. So what I'm doing right now is I'm moving forwards and backwards to stretch in here gently. Okay, very gently. Man, give him some love heart showers for this, guys. Now we're, we're gonna here. start working into this. Can yeah. I have that? Yeah. I'm gonna just put this here so that I can put my knee on it and I can slide a little. So we're gonna just work in here now at a deeper level. Still getting that hip flexor. That's awesome. We're, we're getting there. We're gonna, whoa, this is super slippery. We'll get onto this side now. Another thing you can do is you can lean in this way to try to open that up. Get into that hamstring. Doing good. And then we'll come back here. This is definitely moving. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got on this side. Wow, look at that. We're getting there. All right, I'm, I'm content at 53. I think this is good. 
That's good for now. Let me try. Your turn. That's 63. I'm not 63. She's not. But I'm not 53. But I promise you she'll be doing this at 63. I'm going to sit on McSeamy. All right, here she goes. Have you warmed up? I guess so. Wow. That's pretty nice. That's awesome. Whoa, down you go. Oh, we got that. That's pretty hard to do. <laughs> Good job. It's your birthday present. That's my birthday present. <laughs> you know what? It pays off. <laughs> All right. So we got some push-ups. I think we... No, no jumping jacks, nothing. Oh, you want to do some jumping jacks? Yeah. Let's do 100 jumping jacks. Oh, okay. I'll well, count. Because I got the nachos. <laughs> okay, we're going to do 100 jumping jacks. Ready? Let's rock these out. That's good for a little bit of cardio. Here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Twenty! Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, sixty. <laughs> five, six, talking's hard. Eight, nine. nine 10, 70, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 80, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, boom, woo, woo, baby, 100 jumping jacks, okay gang, that's it. Cheerleading. Whoa, whoa. I tried to cheerlead. All right. Have a seat on your big stool and I'll set the camera. You good? Yep. Whew, I got tired just watching you. <laughs> that was great. Now I'm going to use your arm. Oh. Okay. 100! Either the camera is jumping or this must be the birthday boy. <laughs> I got energized from the push-ups. All right. What you do you look, think? You look like an Olympic gymnast. Thank you. Are you sure you're not 35? <laughs> That's actually... Like when I go to the gym, <laughs> I like to push like that. So that's... That's just fun for me. I like to sweat. <laughs> I come home. If of I go course, to the gym. Joanna was counting for you. Were you counting? <laughs> Did I get them all right? I come home drenched. <laughs> drenched, drenched, drenched. So on your birthday, do a little fitness challenge. Test yourself. And each year, that way you're measuring. Yep. Am I growing or slowing? Am I maintaining? Or am I... Detracting. So let's say your birthday is the 16th of the month. Even if you just, you know, every month on the 16th did a little check-in. How check about this, in. Joanna? She what? said get water. There's water in here, right? <laughs> this is my non-alcoholic Bex. I have water if you want it. <sighs> Happy birthday. <laughs> I'll drink lots of water later, I promise. Okay. So, this morning, a little bit of sharing came through about every day being a birthday, every day being an opportunity to birth into, people say this all the time, the new and improved version of me, be the real me. Okay, I think that the version of me 
and, and let me see if I can say this in a way that makes sense. The version of me that is the improved version is the soul version. I'm pretty sure that my soul, the consciousness that the soul is, is constantly frontline. It's constantly leading, evolving, ready. I, I don't need to add anything to that to be the best version of me. The best version of me is getting out of the way and allowing the real me to come forth. Because that real me is so intelligent in that it can use all of the story, the faculties, the personality, the flavors, the prism colors. Mm. It has the capacity to use it all in the most beautiful flowing way. So for my birthday, and I hope everyone's birthday, what they will allow to that to be a reminder to give the real you, the soul you, full carte blanche. Like, this is your life. Take it. Be who you came here to be. I call that being a soul on a mission. Yeah. And the first mission is remembering the mission. And the mission is to wake up to love, to be love, to be tapped into love. And so taking care of my body is a way I can say thank you to this that gives me a chance to be here in physical form and have experiences and express love as love. So I'm super grateful every day to be birthed into that. But the birthday is like putting an exclamation point on it. Yeah. And a big thank you from you to the universe. And that's why we give gifts on our birthday rather than... We'll receive gifts too. Please, my address is... Okay. <laughs> Giving opens the door for that soul nature. Red wine, blue apparel. <laughs> Open the door for more. And so by giving on your birthday, you allow your soul to come forward. And there it is. Okay, we did it. We did a Trisprina show even after <laughs> we were live for like a gazillion hours. How y'all doing over there? What are you saying? I'm going to sleep good tonight for sure. Last day consciousness. Today's session was magical. Thank you, mm. Joanna. I really enjoyed this morning's session. I um, I want to listen to that one again. I really wasn't there. <laughs> A lot of it is um, the best stuff comes through us when we're not in the in the way. I'm doing all things physical this year, says Kobe for her fiftieth, and I water skied a day ago. Wow. I saw your video, That's and that awesome. was the first time she got she got right up. Didn't you say your arms get sore water ski? No, what did you do? What's that call when you surf behind a boat? Surfboarding maybe? So you weren't on two skis? No skis. I had to get up on a surfboard, but my arms were shot the next day, that's for sure. Were your arms sore, Kobe? She went for a long time. That's cool. My legs and my arms were totally shot. Yeah. Okay, so one other thing that you should know, and I can put a link here for you. Two things, really. Okay, so the this energy event is that what you mean? The energy event is coming up. If you're in the dojo right now, we are prepping ourselves for that energy event that starts on August 3rd. It's all about resilience, rebooting your energy, and becoming the really tapped in resilient version of you, the one that's yeah. really tapping into the life force flow. And and it's fall, right? Like it's. The beginning of fall and that we think it's a, such an important time with what's happening in the world that you're the most resilient you can be with everything that's going on uh, my tagline for this one is from lockdown to lit up okay <laughs> so from lockdown to lit up and um, the other thing that you may want to know is that Sabrina and I've been working for the last I would say years but the last month on a new program that we're calling Next Level Confidence and it has to do with being on camera and really showing up, lit up. So excited. So <laughs> we just we just announced today that it's live. Like two hours ago. Yeah. And so if you haven't been part of the boot camp and you want to see what we're doing, this is for anyone who wants to be like us in the work from home. From your dining room, from it, your living room, from your really, garden. It's really about anybody that has a skill or knowledge or a passion that they want to teach and share with others. Really simple from your home. It might be Qigong. It might be cooking. The yep. 
the dog training anything. variety of people that are in this group is unbelievable bookkeepers a lot of life coaches my memory fails me mm, Joanna said Peter was there this morning that's beautiful and I felt that you daddy daddy all right so here's that this is what's called next level this is really friggin good this is probably one of the best things we've ever produced, I think. And um, you can see all the things there. There's a video explaining what it is and what it can do for you. And if you want to start a business or grow a business and you want to make those pivots that so many of us are having to make right now, that we're not going into jobs like we were or jobs are disappearing and we've got to figure out what's next, this could be your next level. Cool? Yeah. And there, there's two different options on the page, sort of the home study are, are side by side with us. I mean, we're we're in both. <laughs> I I'm I'm so excited about this. I feel with uh, with everything that's happening in the world and the way the world is transitioning, there's this huge door that's open for people who just love to share. Like for me, I've always been the person. I went and I got a I got this facial. I think I've told this story before, and it it had like a exfoliating light peel. And I got such benefit. I told so many people that every time somebody went because you told them how good it was, you got a free one. I had 15 free peels. It was crazy. <laughs> so when I, I find something that I love, I like to share it because that's that natural. I like to help. I like to teach. I like to coach. I get excited when something is really good to share it with people. And that's sort of the sign that you're, you're kind of a teacher. <laughs> And um, so we're meeting a lot of people who teach a lot of different things. A lot. More than we expected, actually. We, um, so we, we have this thing where when you sign up to be part of a group where we're delivering the training, you ask a couple of questions. Some of you guys know about this. It's like a little poll. And then we have a tool that takes those questions and puts them on a sheet for us. Um, we used to have to do that manually, right, Joanna? Not anymore. <laughs> so we just hit a button now, and it's all on the sheet. And you can go through and you can start reading what people are looking for, where they're feeling stuck, what they really want. And, and what they love to do. And what they love to do and, and what they've been doing. And it's like, what? Such a variety of people that are now wanting to go online. Yeah. And, and how, how fun for us, like from skincare to makeup to dog training to bookkeeping. Everything. To, I mean, one woman just said, she said, I, I want to help women um, bounce back from domestic violence. And I'm struggling with the camera because um, my husband knocked out my front teeth. And we're just like, wow. Oh, like, man. can you imagine when we read that, we're just like so called to help these people yeah. and to help these people help other people. It's yeah. very, very exciting and fulfilling. And a lot of, just like you guys, so many beautiful people out there in the world that we're getting to know because of this. Yeah. There are funny people They're in so this boot funny. camp group. There's some really funny people. Jack and <laughs> oh, just some cool people. So you probably get to meet more of them. And then when we do the energy challenge, there's going to be a whole nother load of folks coming in yeah, from that's our partners crazy. that are getting behind it this year. It's pretty cool. Okay, that's it from us. That's the Trish Breen Show. You all probably need to get a, a little bit of rest too, right? <laughs> We've all been going and going. So on that note, don't give up. Never give up. Get That's, up. This is the song of resilience. Don't, don't give up. Happy, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy, 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 happy birthday. He did the splits, he did the splits, he did the jack shit. Hooray. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a beautiful <laughs> evening. Much love. <laughs>